We're going to look at steering the board into the wind and away from the wind. turn the board into the wind, we extend the back of the sail away from the wind and towards the back of the board. Turning the board away from the wind, we extend the mast towards the wind and keep the power in the sail with our back hand. From our sailing position we can steer the board. To turn upwind, extend both arms down and back leaning the sail towards the back of the board. Gradually pull the sail in more as we turn closer to the wind. To turn the board away from the wind, we need to bring the mast towards the wind keep low with our body and keep the power in the sail with our back hand. While the board is pointing across the wind, practice your steering, turning upwind and downwind in turn, like a big S. While you are steering, try and use your body to help stay in control. When you are going upwind, lean your body weight forwards. When you are going downwind, drop low with your weight on your back foot. We're now going to talk about the different points of sail. In this diagram, the first thing we need to be aware of is the wind, and we can see it by the blue arrow. Next on the left hand side of the screen we have a green arrow indicating upwind and downwind. Looking at the boards we can see that when the board is pointing directly across the wind it is on a beam reach. When it is going dead downwind, it is on a run. Between those two, it's a broad reach, which is the fastest point of sail. And then when you're close to the wind, you're on a close hauled. You'll notice a big red triangle called the no-go zone. If the board is pointing in this area, it will lose speed and eventually stop. So we can't point the board in the no-go zone. So how do we go upwind? The way we do it is to zigzag the board upwind without having the nose of a board ever facing directly into the no-go zone, unless you're turning around. Here we have an example of putting the theory into practice on the water. We're going to be gradually heading upwind, tacking each time we need to turn around to make sure that the board stays upwind. When we sail on our new tack, try to make sure you're across the wind first to pick up speed before leaning the sail back slightly and working your way upwind. <laughs> 